Hey everybody, it's Christy and I'm here at George's in Coconut Grove with Seth Peterson and first of all, I wanted to thank you for doing the interview with us today. It's my pleasure, thank Thanks. you. You're welcome. So I wanted to do this to give everybody a chance to like see you up close and personal. A lot of Burn Notice fans I know visit my site and I know that you have a lot of fans so I, and they want to like see you and they like tweeting with you so I figured it was something really cool. I love tweeting with everybody. That's cool. So do you have any favorite tweet fans or? I do. I'm going to keep it all a secret though. That's good. I think you there's, can figure out. There's a by, lot of them. Right. Am I <laughs> one of them or? Yeah. Okay. Well, I better be. <laughs> I better be. Okay. So the first question I was going to ask you was originally you had tried out for the part as uh, Michael Weston. So how did right. you end up as Nate Weston? Well, there was no way I was going to ever get the job of Michael Weston. Right. That's how I ended up uh -huh. having That's an right. opportunity mm -hmm. to read for the people right. who cast the show Burn Notice. Mm -hmm. And while I was in there, they were like, this is not somebody we right. want from Michael Weston. And my job was, you know, as, a, as an actor is to go into a room and, and kill it right. as best I can, but the way I do it. Mm -hmm. And the way I do it's pretty much like Nate. Right. And that's not Michael Weston. No. Nope. But it's Nate. Yeah, it's like so, laid yeah, back. And... Exactly. So they remembered me and they were like, you know, we got this part of Nate. Mm -hmm. Would you come in? And I was like, yeah, for sure. And then I was slightly insulted because there was like a couple hundred other mm -hmm. people there that they invited right. as well. And I had to beat them from Right. From... So that was hard, actually. Well, yeah, there was some effort, I think. Right. Yeah. So that's good. Actually, it would. I don't think it would have like the same dynamics, you know, if it were like a different Nate. You Maybe. Know? I don't know. I don't think it would there be. There would be different dynamics. Yeah, it would. I, I guess. I think that there's good chemistry, like with I you so and too. like with um, Sharon Gless, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of good chemistry. Well, the, the thing about those guys is that they let you they let you ad lib and they play along, mm -hmm. so really you can't make right. a mistake. Right. They're so, a lot of fun to play with. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. Yeah. So at least you're comfortable, like when you're on set, and like they're comfortable, and so. Because that's what it should be. That's right. where I live. Right. I mean, right. Because some people aren't very comfortable. You know, sometimes you can see when people aren't comfortable, you know? Mm. Like, you can tell. Really? Yeah. I, well, you can tell? I can tell when people are, like, acting huh. and it seems, like, kind of forced. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but you guys huh. kind of seem all natural together. You think I... Am I huh. Can you tell right now that I'm uncomfortable? No, I think you're comfortable in. Oh, you think so? I think so. The meters are just off. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, kid, but... Right. I've never been this nervous. You were nervous, really? No. I, mean, I knew you weren't nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just silly, you know me. I know. Right. So, okay, so, mm -hmm. what is your favorite part about working on Burn Notice? Um, well, I mean, I like Nate. He's a lot right. of fun to play. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's really no acting required when I play him because... It's like you. It's like me, except, you know, he's dumber than I am and... His well, voice is like three octaves higher. Right. And you're smarter than him, obviously. Well, anybody's pretty much smarter yeah. than Nate. <laughs> let's face it's it. It's true. It's true. Everybody is. Right. So, um, let's see. So, what else besides, like, Burn Notice are you working on right now? Right now, nothing. They've got me tied up. They bought me out for the whole, until, like, uh, the end of May. Oh, so you can't, like, well, in the summer, if they don't get call you back then, you can start you looking want. for other as work? As, my, as soon as my contract mm -hmm. is over, then and I do free. anything I like, well, but that's actually good. I've decided I'm taking a road trip. Oh, yeah. that's good. I think I'm going to drive all the way to New York. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> From LA to New York. That's where I'm going to go oh. home to, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I thought I'd do laundry first. <laughs> well, yeah. that'll be cool. Are you going to take your kids with you? or? Nope. Oh, well, it'll be good. It's just me. Well, it's an adventure. Then you in can go to like a, a Whataburger and then like try these my different 5, places. 5,725 songs in my iPod. Oh, that's cool. So I'm sure I'll be entertained. Right, and you'll get a chance to like think over a lot of things in your life and like where you want to go with your career, like what type of characters you we'll want. Avoid and... that as much as possible. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm gonna make a game like how many bunnies can I run over and just do it that way. And just keep my or mind off bunnies. my troubles. Right. You know? uh -huh. uh, squirrels. I mean, whatever I can okay. find. Squirrels it's are okay. Been can, my dream to squirrels. run over an armadillo. Because <laughs> I know those guys. They're slow as anything. I know, and they I don't mean, move. They... No. Right. But bunnies, no. <laughs> You know, I don't know why I love to joke about killing bunnies or puppies because right. I never once done it. <laughs> right. Uh, squirrels, so don't, I really don't, don't like. Yeah, it. don't get it's upset, people. But my hate for squirrels is real. Like, I don't like squirrels. They jump on my golf bag when I go to this like, to this one spot in uh -huh. Los Feliz to golf. I think in L.A. they're, really they're like nuts. They are aggressive. Yeah. they very aggressive, at least. Okay. So, what can Burn Notice fans expect um, from Nate in Season 6? Um, they can expect a big transformation in Nate because in this season... 
Nate gets to play with the big boys and he becomes part of the team. Oh, that's they give cool. Nate a gun. Right. They trust him. Nate punches people in the face. Right. You get to blow things up or no? Um, no. Okay. Well, that's good not unless, then. Not unless pizza counts. Okay. So I blew up some pizza. Mm -hmm. Well. Didn't, didn't work out very well. So they only trust Fiona. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. Matter of fact, anytime hmm. they give me a gun, they make sure there's no bullets in it. Because they don't trust me. I mean, they won't even put blanks in there. All right. Okay. Like, I'm a method actor. And you wouldn't Come like on, to give it. her a sucker some blanks. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't right. feel so naked when right. I'm holding the gun. Like at least. And he's good. Like the guys down there with all the M16s right. and shit. They even the um, completely got all the blanks they want. They and they were just extras too, or were they just extras, or did they have like Not a part? In my mind, they were trying oh. to kill me. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Because <laughs> you have to get involved in character, actually. Correct. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so um, what is the most challenging... Are we allowed to curse on this show? Kind of not really, but one, it's okay. If it slipped really, out. Really, it's just one? Yeah. Oh. Okay, because I mean, a lot of like God different ages... It. Yeah. I can't believe I did that. I know, because a lot of different ages like watch it or they visit the site, so it's like kind of like tweenish to like 50-year-olds, <laughs> like everything in between, oh. yeah. Cause, Those like, are all my favorite people. <laughs> The tweens and the 50 year olds. <laughs> no, but I said Nothing up between, until. Though, no, know. everything in between. Like, it's Those like from really there. Stupid. So, yeah. Okay. okay, so, um, yeah, so what is the most challenging part about being an actor? Doing um, an interview. The six today. months at a time where nobody hires you. All right, okay. So that's like, the, like, you've always felt that way when you were. Yeah. Because oh. the acting comes naturally to you, basically, right? Well, the acting's the easy part. Right. Mm -hmm. Getting paid for it is, right, it's not. <laughs> is a little more difficult. Right. So, you know, you could go three months at a time or six months at a time even without a job. But, you know, fortunately, when you get the job, mm -hmm. they compensate you for right. all those months off. Oh, well, that's cool. That's good. Because if they didn't, then you'd be stuck. I mean, you only need to work a few months out of the year, and then you get to spend the rest of the time right. with your family. Or, doing, like, whatever you want. Or whatever. Well, yeah. yeah. Taking well, road good. trips. Right. Well, that's good. Actually. Mm -hmm. 